Because what, actually, when I look at your performances, I see you listening, right? Let's go back to Green Mile. It's the way you were looking out there. You were taking it in. And I don't know if you, Graham, were acting that or you were just doing that, but that was a strength of what you were doing. Yeah. It's the way you were listening inside Death Row through the bars. And that got me, Ellen. You, your, your listening took me there into Death Row. Not through any, you know, device or whatever. So you figured that out on your own. Yeah. No, when I first got the script, I thought, oh, this is interesting. And I thought, after I read it some more, I said, I know why I'm in this film. I'm there to introduce the electric chair, who I never met. But I'm going to have to introduce that electric chair when I get to it. And my whole thought is, while I was in that cell, was, what does it look like? Is it, is it a guy? Is it a girl? They're going to like me? They're going to kill me? What, what's going to happen? I've never seen one before. So it was just curiosity and uh, knowing that that's as far as you're going. You're not going to go any further than that. And the regret for what had happened that got him in this position. And, and uh, there was just, he's, he's stuck. The character was stuck on a, a, a treadmill with nowhere to go. He, he wasn't on a treadmill anymore. He was off the treadmill. He was just standing there waiting to introduce the electric chair. And that kind of perspective on that man that you played, is that something you figured out on set? Or is that something as you read the story, you understood, oh, this is the journey that I'm going to go on as this character. How does that work? Well, like I said, a lot of people have preconceived notions about what's gonna happen when they get there. A lot of it really happened when I, was, when I heard that cell door slam because they used real cell doors. And there wasn't wood, it was steel. And that set was incredible. It was just incredible. You couldn't tell it was phony until you got about six inches from it and you started to look at it. And you went, oh, whoever built that thing is incredible. But uh, none of that stuff ever occurred to me until that door slammed about, shit, they're going to kill me. Wow, what's it like? What's going to happen after that? Will I know? Will it hurt? I don't know. Will I be better off where I am than in here? I don't know. Is there somewhere to go? I have no idea. Well, I'm stuck here. There's nothing I can do about it. So I'll just have to wait. And do you talk to the director about this kind of stuff, or is this Graham just That's Mead. working away inside? That's me working away inside. Tom, I, I, Frank had a lot of other stuff running through his head that was incredible. He's, he, he had to deal with a lot of other actors. And, That's Frank the director, right? Yeah, you know, my job is to get that character and do what I had to do. He never gave me one note, never nothing, never, I barely talked to him. You really talked to him? Barely talked to him. He, he, he said, was, Graham, I want you to be there in the cell, you know, the camera's going to come down here, we'll do it wide, and then we'll come in for, that's, that's basically what he would say? Yep. He just talked technically with me, and that was fine. And uh, he was busy talking to everybody else who had, Frank, you know, like, uh, you know, when that happens, do, do I really react to what he's saying or, or do I just not react to this? And, and then if you ask, if, what the hell, you know, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> there was a lot of awkward acting in that film. I found it a very mixed up film. This is Green Mile. Really interesting uh, idea. Yeah. But you grounded it, you and a couple of other actors grounded me in it, and then I saw the other actors kind of like, well, I should be reacting to this moment, I should be happy at this moment. I went, I don't 
that's great, you look great, but I don't really believe you. I believe you when the camera comes in there and says, why am I believing Graham? Why am I, the other actors, they're nice, you know, they're nice, but I don't really believe them. I don't believe they're yeah. there. Michael Duncan was one of those guys that just, you can't keep your eyes off him. Yeah. Not because of your size and everything, but just what, what's happening in there. Michael Jeters was another one. It just completely blew my mind. 